Hello and welcome to this Forced Manager 5500 demonstration. Today we are going to show you what we believe is a game-changing application uh, for the advisor. Bringing together Force Manager's long-standing and robust CRM functionality with the import of data from the Form 5500 from our providers at Arisopedia. This demonstration is going to form in two parts. Uh, the first part will begin here on the desktop application as you can see in front of you. And then we will jump into the mobile application as well. Reason for this split is super simple. One from the, the desktops so when you're in, your, in the home office, and one to do more planning, and then the execution of your visits and prospecting will obviously be carried out on the mobile phone. So let's, let's dive straight in. Uh, I'm logged in here uh, as an advisor who is working within the state of Illinois. So here I can now see all of the companies, uh, the employers who have completed the form 5500. And that is what all of these bubbles are showing. Numbers and, and colors are, are merely just showing uh, the density. So then as we zoom in, we'll now start to see them uh, begin to break down as we go into a more granular level. And we now start to see uh, every employer or every prospect appearing now as its own red uh, flag marker. I now have the option to uh, click on any of these markers to then show me uh, who that account is, who that prospect is. Um, and I can obviously click on any one that I wish to look at. So uh, I've highlighted this one. Yep, this looks like an interesting uh, prospect to look into. And now I want to go and dig in and have a look at, about the, all the information we've got about them. So I'll jump in, I'll click on the name. So CDK, CDK Global. And now it will open up uh, the overview screen. So now here is where we are going to show you all of the data points that we've imported from uh, our partners at Arisopedia. Now we've broken this down into a number of tabs here just to make the information uh, easily digestible from the advisor. So let's take a look through now. Uh, we'll start with sponsor info. So here we're looking at the high level, you know, the overview, uh, EIN number through to the, the business uh, category, uh, and even down through to like the, who the admin contact who has been named or has populated the form 5500. We then move into plan information, and here we start to see some more information. So total participants, for example, here just under 7,000 uh, total participants. We can see the plan type, so defined contribution plan in here. As we scroll down, we can then start to see the total assets in there uh, being displayed. Now, of course, uh, we're going to move into the pension benefits. And as this, this plan is a defined contrib contribution, uh, we see the features here. So it's a 404C plan, uh, participant directed, uh, 401k with a match and automatic enrollment. So we can see those key features of the plan. Now move across now um, into the potential plan issues. And here we are sharing a variety of possible potential uh, plan issues that may be on this account. So here, example, uh, we've got the bond amount and we've obviously got the status uh, of the plan and are they meeting that requirement. And as we scroll down, we have a number of, of other data points that may be highlighting uh, any potential plans in here. Uh, for example, here we see there is a, a no next to 404C issue. So therefore, this plan is indicating that they are going to be or are uh, 404C compliant. And here we take a look at, at QDIA. We've got a yes, so therefore indicating that they have not checked the QDIA uh, box on the, for, uh, the form 5500. So this may be a potential plan issue that we may have on this particular plan. And the last tab to drive into here is uh, the financial uh, information. So here we're sharing a number of those key metrics from a financial point of view. Uh, we can see a number of participants uh, with an account balance, so 5,361. Uh, and it also, we can see the average account balance there of being uh, just under $83,000. And again, as we scroll down, we can see the other data points into there. 
Next is information regarding the schedules. So we've designed and import this in via this uh, provider uh, information in here. So very easily I can click on this uh, here and I can download it as a PDF or an Excel or a Word document. I can access this exact same report on the mobile application as well. So now I can generate uh, that report. It will now download and open up a PDF. I'll just zoom in. Now in here, traditionally, uh, we're gonna show an advisor compensation and uh, any company or person who may be receiving revenue uh, from the plan. And in this example as well, we're showing some of the breakdown of the assets uh, on the plan as well. So all uh, important information for us to uh, view into there. So that's, that's what one plan uh, we've seen information for. Um, if I now click out of this plan, um, I can then go and click into a, a different plan. Um, so as we can see, they're all there. Um, I can now click on this plan here. So this one is for uh, Lewis Brothers Bakery. Again, same, same process. Uh, I can then uh, click onto it. I can see all the same information for them. And now I can scroll down and we can have a look at all of these boxes or widgets as we call them, uh, where we've got all the CRM functionality being held as well. So contacts example will be shown here. And as we scroll down, uh, we've got the activity feed. So this is akin to your social media. This is all those touch points uh, that have happened with this potential prospect in there. One feature to draw your eye to here is, is this document section where we've got uh, the Recipedia folder. So here with our, our partnership with Recipedia, we've actually incorporated in uh, a number of their fantastic, robust reports that they produce. They're now accessible uh, from Force Manager 5500 as well. So I've got all that information in one place. Uh, the first, very first one we show in here is a copy of the completed form 5500. So I can, for any reason, wish to have a look at the actual form that's being completed. I may see that and, and go through that as, as, as I wish. Uh, another great plan is the uh, benchmarking plan here. So another fantastic report uh, built and uh, designed from Arisopedia. So here we show in some plan summary. And as we go through, uh, we can see uh, other information across here. And as we go down a bit further, we start to then dig into some of the analysis that's been carried out. So investment return by year, uh, for example, and going down through uh, administrative expenses per participant uh, by year as well. So these are really in-depth reports into here. And of course, uh, any additional information you need about this, then we can, we can, we can cover that and also bring in our, our contacts at Arisopedia to give you a, a, a true under the hood explanation of, of what these, feel, uh, these uh, particular reports are showing you. And, and, and that's the, the overview of that. Now, of course, um, we come back to the main map view here. There are circa 30,000 uh, records, so companies, or employers who have completed the Form 5500 in the state of Illinois. So therefore, from time to time, there's an awful lot of data in there. And as an advisor, I'm gonna wanna be able to filter uh, this data in order to hone in to a specific target or audience that I wish to uh, go in and speak to. So a uh, funnel option in here very easily i can click on this funnel now and now in this ability i can now perform um, some filtering uh, on the data as well now we have a few standard filters uh, that will appear as standard so for example i have a segment here so here we segmented the accounts a through to e uh, based off of total assets so for example, if I wish to look at plans that are over 25 million in total assets, I can very easily just click those two particular options. And now I've filtered those lists to just show those particular plans, filtering out the noise, uh, so to speak. Um, as I scroll down, I can then have the ability with this plus icon here to actually then select you know, any other data point uh, I wish to choose. So all of those data points we've seen, they're all available for me to select and therefore uh, allows me to filter the data as uh, according. So if we take a look at um, average account balance, uh, for example, I may wish to do some filtering here. So I'm gonna enter in uh, between 5,000 and 10. 
thousand. Um, and then what the system will do then is it will start to filter out and then just show me the plans that are, are within that particular uh, criteria as well. So we've got a, a couple in here. So we can see these are now filtering out those, those really large plans that have a, a very good average account balance in there. So also uh, a final option on this filtering is I do then have the ability to actually save this view. So if it's a view that I may use time and time again, or I filter by a number of factors, so we can make the, you can make these filters as a user, as complex as you need them to be. I can actually save this view in here, and then I can call this uh, you know, view uh, you know, uh, top, top targets, for example, and save that. And what that will mean is that if we reset the filters here, I will then have this top targets uh, available from my list of views, my list of filtering uh, within the system. So that's from the desktop application. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to jump into the mobile application. So if I will just uh, pull up my iPhone and we can, we can take a look at this. So here we're going to start with uh, the same point that we started with on the web application. Now, Force Manager is heavily focused on the mobile application. So our mobile application is, is one of the best out there in the market from a CRM point of view in all. And now with the power of the 5500 data incorporated, this is where the game changing uh, application really kicks in. So in this scenario, I'm going to run through a couple of different real life scenarios that may happen in, in the world of an advisor. So again, this particular in, and if I zoom in, this is fantastic for me to be looking into when I'm actually out there in the field. So, you know, if I'm out in a particular area and, and I have a meeting or a meeting finish early, I can straight away see you know, what potential prospects are in and around my, my close vicinity. Uh, here, a little subtle difference. We see here this donut effect. This is now showing us you know, the accounts that may be broken down by the segmentation. So the, the orange will be the A accounts and, and so forth as we go down to the E accounts in blue. Now, you know, if I finish in a, a meeting early, I may wish to uh, click onto one account. So I'm, maybe I'm near uh, this particular customer, so this, this Plaza Hotel. Again, click on the I information. It's now going to pull up all of the information. Uh, that we've seen before. So all of that fantastic 5,500 data displayed on my mobile phone. So I've, left, I've lost no functionality from jumping from the desktop application across into my mobile application. So I'm taking the power of this application from the home office out uh, onto the road. So I can see that information. I can see uh, the contacts in there. So I can see the admin is, is Mark. So in this scenario, I may want to just give Mark a quick call. You know, you're in the area. Maybe I give them a call and potentially look to drop a business card off. So very easily, I tap on the call button. I go forth and have my call. And once I finish my call, I return back to Force Manager and it's showing me the call report form. So here I want to upload the information from that call I've just made. Uh, it's a phone call. And now I can add my comments. So I can type away. But what I always like to utilize is the voice to text feature. Microphone button in the bottom corner. Quick call with Mark, he was super busy. So I'm gonna go and drop a business card off for him and then set myself a task to give him a call in two weeks time. So very, very easy to add that, that note into my calendar as I'm just in the lobby or I'm waiting in my car when you go back to the next meeting. I just press done. That's then gonna save uh, that note I've just added uh, to uh, the particular customer in there as well. So next scenario is about uh, how I execute a face-to-face -face visit. So when I leave the office, you know, that, that reason for leaving is that face-to-face -face meeting. So it's important for me to be able to have the access and the data to my, ha to my fingertips when I'm out there on the field. So we've, of course, managed to design this magic card. And here we can see uh, live real-time traffic with my next meeting here with traffic control and protection. I've got a route icon here, which allows me to open up my maps, uh, my navigational system. So my Google Maps, my Waze, whatever I'm using, Apple Maps, I can then navigate that to there. 
contact icon in here allows me within three taps of my screen to be calling uh, Robert in this example to say, hey, um, I'm stuck in traffic, I'm running late, etc." So really, really quick, easy access, not reinventing the wheel, but providing the advisor the information to their fingertips, not having to scroll through an email. So now I arrive at my meeting, so with LNL Lover by uh, Daycare. This is my next meeting. So in here, um, I now want to complete my visit. So I go in, I have my visit as normal. Uh, however, maybe, you know, life on the road can be quite hectic. So force manager helps here. That last few minutes of planning before I go into the meeting, just to recap the, the current situation of the account, uh, force manager can help here. I can click on the uh, account name, and very easily, I can now give myself a refresh of, of what's happening with the plan, uh, for example. And also, we've built in here a great function where we're highlighting any of the potential plan issues at the top of the screen. So whenever I go into a, another particular record, this is showing me straight away if there's a potential plan issue, so I can be aware of it as I go into the meeting. Um, I can double check you know, who I'm having that meeting with. And also, I can take a look at the activity history. So the touch points I've had so far. So here I can quickly review uh, the last meeting we had so I can review my notes so I know we can start that meeting off of uh, the correct footing. Um, here we can see any phone calls I've added. We also have the ability to sync with your email server. This is just a setting that can be switched on or switched off depending on, on your preference. But what it will do uh, if we're syncing email as well, it will capture any email that you send or receive to this particular uh, prospect. Therefore, it's all going to be captured in the activity screen here, giving you truly a full 360 degree view of your touch points with that particular customer or prospect. Now, I'm happy. Uh, I'm up to speed. Now, I want to go in and have a meeting. So I go in and I have my meeting. And then when I finish my meeting, uh, I hit check in. This is now going to uh, pull up the activity uh, report form. So now I want to be able to go in uh, and add the notes uh, from my particular uh, meeting as well. So straight away here, uh, I've got the ability to add another contact. So maybe I met a new contact whilst I was in that meeting who was not in my system so far. Very simply to add them and very quickly add the plus button in the top. A couple of options. If I select add contact, it shows up the contact creation form. So I go through and populate the information that I know. Uh, the other option, and fantastic if you're given a business card here, is a scan card, which allows me to come here, uh, scan a business card. It will then create the contact for me. So name, phone number, email address, etc. Speed of input, greatly improved, and also the avoidance of spelling mistakes and typos. And from a personal point of view, fantastic after you know, an exhibition, a conference, or I'm back in the hotel room, I can quickly update all those new contacts that I met into the system as soon as I type in there for hours, trying to add all the contacts into my, into my database in there. Um, and now, you know, I wanna be able to add uh, my, my comments. So again, as we saw from the phone call a few minutes ago, I can very, very easily type to my heart's content, but uh, I love to use the, the features of Force Manager and the voice to text. So again, I can now uh, dictate my comments from the meeting. Great meeting, we'll send a draft proposal as soon as possible and set a follow-up meeting for next Friday at 10 a.m. Very easily, add my comments into there, uh, then press save. As you can see, I can speak you know, many more words per minute than I can type, so therefore uh, I'm using my time much more efficiently. And as I'm walking back to the car post-meeting, I can very, very easily you know, add the notes uh, to the meeting in there. Last option here, we do have a photo carousel. So this does allow me to upload any image I may wish uh, that I may have taken during the meeting. So whatever reason that may be. So just to demonstrate this very quickly, I just grab a picture of my screen, use that photo, and then therefore that image is then stored in Force Manager as well for future reference. So now I've added all of my notes for the meeting. I just press done, and then I'm going to go and set that, that schedule, that follow-up action that is always important after a meeting. So uh, I press done. Uh, then we get this pop-up very quickly. I'm going to tap on it now before it disappears in there. Um, so now it's asking me, that, that pop-up said, no, do you want to create the, that event? The reason that pop-up has happened is because of a layer of artificial intelligence that we've built in collaboration with IBM and the IBM Watson project. So here, what's happened is the 
artificial intelligence, the AI, has read my text and my comments I've put in there, and I've mentioned about a follow-up meeting next Friday at 10 o'clock. So the system's read that, and it's prompted me, hey, do you want to create that? So we can see here the start date uh, there is next Friday at 10 a.m. So all I'm left to do uh, is to add in a subject. So if this is, you know, follow-up, um, I can then very quickly save that into my force manager calendar there and then, and I've created my follow-up action in, in literally sort of five seconds. So therefore I'm not going to do, you know, miss that follow-up action. Of course, if I've not mentioned a next meeting or, or another task uh, within those notes, again, force manager helps you capture this again. We've got a schedule icon here next to check-in. I can tap on this and this then allows me very easily to be able to create a task or an event and add that into my calendar as well. Task, very much that to-do list, you know, what have I got to do? Send them some documentation or give them a call back. You know, no time has been agreed. I'm just going to follow up with them in a week's time. I personally you know, live within my task. It's the first thing I come to in the morning. You know, what tasks have I got to do today? Who am I meant to be trying to call? So I use that as my, as my checklist, my, my first start uh, for the morning. So also in here, uh, we can see uh, opportunities. So here I can start to build my, my pipeline as well. So in here, I can see some of my opportunities I've created. So at a point after maybe the initial meeting, and there is potential for business here, I can create uh, the opportunity. Creating the opportunity uh, is, is very, very easy into there. So we come back to the dashboard. I go into this particular one we've just had the meeting with. Within the opportunities funnel here, I can very simply uh, add uh, a new opportunity, uh, call it a, a name. So it's a 401k you know, uh, plan um, and it's a you know, $5 million plan, uh, maybe set to status. So it's, uh, I've sent, uh, had a primary com communication conducted already. I can set the probability, I can set the amount. So if it's a five you know, million, plan we can add that into there uh, sales forecast date you know when we expect to hopefully close this this business i can add that into the calendar as well so hopefully we're going to get this closed by october and very quickly that's added into my my pipeline um, in there as well now the reason we do like to do that is then i can monitor and manage my whole pipeline and i can see then dropping into this pipeline view at where my plans are uh, and my opportunities are being sat so i can really drive my efficiency as the advisor the last part to show you uh, to complete this demonstration is the document so here under more we have the document section very easily here we've created you so you will have a centralized document repository so up here you can upload you know those important centralized documents that you want to be able to have to hand so what, one great feature is I can uh, just uh, download the document uh, and show it on my device or maybe even project it onto a TV or, or, or to a screen. But for me, the true benefit here is being able to share this document instantly. So if the customer wants uh, this particular document, instead of me now having to wait until I get back to the office, I can share it instantly uh, with, the, with the contact. Hopefully they're in my CRM system. And then I can see uh, uh, Jeff at, at Lewis Brothers Bakery. It's going to open up an email for me then to send him with a link uh, for him to go and download that document. So straight away, I can get that important information into his hands as quick as possible. So that then concludes uh, this demonstration of Force Manager. I hope you uh, found it very informative and insightful, and it, it really is a game changer for the industry. So we look forward to hearing from you uh, and then to give you a, a demonstration, a personal demonstration if, if you need. So thank you very much for your time uh, and I hope to speak to you soon.